Hello everyone and welcome to France. I'm here in Luchon for the next five days and I'll be climbing mountains. We drove down uh, over the past two days. We took the Euro Channel and uh, drove, so we thought that was a safer way to travel at the minute. And yeah, it was a long drive, but worth the drive for sure. Or due to COVID, I don't know how you guys have been, but my cycling mojo has bit, been a bit all over the place, so I've had sporadic riding, but ne definitely not trained for mountain climbing. So it'll be interesting to see what my legs do. Um, but it's all about the views and enjoying the ride for this trip and just making the most of being able to travel again. So yeah, I'll take you along so we can see what happens if I make it up. Um, I'm with the canyon this time. Last time I was here, um, I'm here for the second time. I had the Boardman. So the canyon has one extra gear, so hopefully that will help me a bit. I'm going to need all the help I can get basically. Um, it's also very hot. It was 32 degrees yesterday when we arrived. So yeah, we'll see how I get on climbing in the heat as well. It should be interesting. The drive worth it. At the moment, yeah. yeah. Are you looking forward to beating your time up the Belez? Well, I don't think that's going to happen. Somehow. No, not with me. You know, last time it was about two degrees up there. Yes. He didn't have me last time. Now he's got me, slowpoke. Unfit legs. So we'll do it together. We'll yeah. do it together. Tackling the port de Belez. We're only at the base it's 19k there's a car behind 19k we've probably got about 18 to go so it's going to take probably about an hour and a half to two hours but it's a beautiful day lovely road surface we'll just get it done just taking a little breather we're halfway up it's about to get a bit steeper and it is 32 degrees i'm hoping that uh it cools off a little bit as we get higher but i i don't know <laughs> Um, right now, my legs are struggling. It's also the heat. So, I'm being sensible, having a rest. Nathan's patiently waiting. <laughs> He's in much better shape than I am. Uh, anyway, yeah, so just an update. With 2k to go, the burn is real. It's uh, been a struggle. 38 degrees it got to, but we're nearly there. Climbing. It's the final part of the Port de Valle. Oh, Valles. She's made it. This is not slow mo. She's made it in one piece. So I made it. It wasn't pretty. There were three stops. Nathan has just admitted he didn't think I was going to make it. <laughs> I did boring. But she made it. Um, I'm just too stubborn to give in, but I did need to stop because I didn't want to feel sick the whole rest of the way to the top. Um, but yeah, I did it. Um, so if you're stubborn enough, even if you aren't trained, you can make it. Uh, I don't recommend it. That's why, that is why I train so I can enjoy these rides a bit more. Um, but I didn't not enjoy it, but I think I would have enjoyed it more if I had training in my legs. But it's a good way uh, to train your legs for back home, I guess. Um, so we'll see how I feel um, later and then decide if the tourmalet is a reasonable thing to do tomorrow. <laughs> but right now there's some thunder rolling in, so we are going to head down the mountain back to Luchon. As the beer in the rain, British person. <laughs> this is Fantastic. Is this it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, we're gonna come down, it's coming down. Woo! I gave up. Nathan and I three years ago were here in Luchon and enjoyed it, that's why we came back. The other reason we came back was with the um, window of opportunity to travel with the COVID situation. We decided we wanted to go somewhere sort of familiar, you know, new scenery other than, the, you know, the four walls we've been looking at at home. Something different, but something familiar at the same time. I can't explain it. And we knew the roads here are amazing. The climbs are beautiful. So we decided to come here and we just loved the free range chalet. And I'm not being paid to say this. I paid for this visit and my previous visit with my own money, um, so in no way am I obliged to say any of this, but I would like you all to experience it if you can. <laughs> if you ever get to go to the Pyrenees, you want a great base for your riding. It's amazing here. Um, it's half boards of breakfast and dinner and 
Dinner is normally a social affair, as in, you know, it's a communal um, dinner, but with COVID, things are a little bit different, as in they bring you uh, breakfast to your room, so you have breakfast in your room now, and uh, yeah, there's more separation at dinner. The main course then tonight is uh, one of the dishes we learned about doing in our weekly cook alongs on the internet. Um, this, so this is South African bunny chow, which was a vegetarian version, which we're serving with uh, steamed basmati rice and raita tonight. Jeff and Vic, who operate the Free Range Chalet or own it, are incredible hosts and they have a beautiful villa here. So we wanted to come back because um, the reason I want you all to come because it's an amazing experience, but also I, um, I selfishly would like the Free Range Chalet to be around for a lot longer. <laughs> so if you guys all wanna come, stay here, then I know they'll have a good business and be here for my next visit. So I'm very selfish that way. So yeah, I'll show you the room. Um, it's, each room is different, styled differently, um, but this room has an incredible view, which I'm gonna share with you because, oh, it's just stunning. It just changes throughout the day. We can see it when we wake up. It's just amazing. The room, so ignore our mess. Nathan and I have a habit of destroying hotel rooms. Um, but yeah, just that's the room. So great size room. And through there, there's a, ch if you have kids, there's bunk beds in this little area. So it's a family room actually. And then the bathroom is through there. So that's sort of the, the layout. It's quite spacious. Um, but we have, yeah, cycling kit everywhere at the minute. But yeah, look at the high ceilings. Oh, love it. Portobello as yesterday was Hard earned. I knew I was an in shape, trained up. The good thing is though, despite the heat, I managed to get the hydration right. And I think that's the reason I actually did make it to the top. So yeah, it was an amazing ride. I was proud that I made it despite the lack of hours on the bike this season. And today was an active recovery day, or supposed to be. Uh, the ride we did was about 800 meters of climbing. Uh, we did a little call. Um, yeah, a really nice one actually. The kind that's like between four to six percent, super steady, in the shade. It was beautiful and just lush. Um, just what my legs needed, to, you know, to keep them moving, um, but not make them work too hard. But the way back it was again stupidly hot, hitting 37 degrees. Um, and to get back into Luchon, you have a bit of a climb, nothing seriously hard, but you know, at the end of a long ride on a hot day, <laughs> it pushes you. We were supposed to do the Tourmalade today, but I just thought it wasn't a smart thing to do um, those two rides back to back. So tomorrow we are looking at doing the Tourmalade, so we will see what happens with that.